I'm going to talk to you about uh, going to talk to you about an article that I read in the newspaper, which kind of has my blood boiling. It was written by a chap named Russell Purcell, and uh, he didn't have much nice to say about the Volt. And it's reporting like this that really kind of ticks me off when I I see stuff like this because. You know, unless you actually take the car out on a test drive, Russell, you really are not in no way qualified to write a story like this without actually trying the car out. And I'm going to quote what you've had to say about this because it kind of annoys me. You go on to say that it has an 83 horsepower gas engine, which is correct. It does have an 83 horsepower gas engine. And you said your time with the Volt was cut short because you had a 400 kilometer um, trip to the Okanagan Valley in pursuit of a story and you were basically you were afraid you were going to run out of power and anybody who drives a Volt knows that this is simply not the case there is a mode on the Volt called mountain mode which is designed specifically for getting over a mountain range and what mountain mode does is it it, it puts a pre-charge of about 40 percent it keeps a 40 percent charge in the battery while you are driving so that you can do this you can go over passes like uh, the Coquihalla Highway at speeds of 140, 150 kilometers an hour going up the hill all the way from the bottom all the way to the summit not a problem so when I see stories like this it really kind of annoys me because someone who's thinking of buying the car reads something like this and they're put off on it without you even you've never even tried the car you never even drove it to see how wonderful the car is anybody who owns the car knows how great the car is I'm just going to show you just so you can eat your words here I'm going to show you, I went to Coquihalla, I've been up there several times in my car, and this last time I went up, I took my camera up just to show you how well this car performs going up that freeway, or any other for that matter. I've had my Volt all over North America, I've had it up to uh, Prince Rupert, I've had it to Calgary, I've had it to Edmonton, I've had it down to Arizona, I've had it over all the major passes in Western Canada and the Western United States, and I've never run short on power on any of them. Take a look at this. As you can see, the speed limit now here is 120. So, saying that, I think it's time to take her up a little bit quicker than that. Just to show you guys that uh, we are making pretty good time up here. We're going up a big hill here. If I put my foot into it, now this is going uphill. This is going up a big hill here, and as you can see, the Volt has absolutely no problem at all accelerating like crazy going up a hill we'll do some more of this when we get on the next big hill here but this is a this is a hill that's going to climb we're going up a hill here about an eight percent grade i guess um, it basically starts at hope and it goes all the way up to the summit the whole thing is uphill we'll have no problem whatsoever this is the steepest hill on the Coquihalla and uh, we're still accelerating here you look down at my speedometer here now I'm going up the steepest hill on the Coquihalla and I'm going to be passing all these other cars which have got no horsepower because they're wide open flat out going up this big steep hill but they're driven by a petrol or a diesel engine and I'm driving up here at 147, going uphill. And I gotta slow down for the other cars, 149. Now I gotta slow down because other people just aren't, aren't able to do this in their car. Thank you. Gotta slow down to 109 for that guy. So we'll do it again. We'll get our speed up again as we, uh, Continue up the hill, back up to 134, 135. No problem at all. 150. Yeah, no problem with this thing. We'll slow her down a bit now. I don't really desire to get myself a ticket. It's 120 down here, so I figure if I, I cruise at 129, 128, I probably will be okay. So here we are, another steep grade. Put my foot into it. No problem whatsoever. I have to slow down, I'm getting going too fast here. As you can see. 
This thing got no problem whatsoever. Just going like crazy on these steep grades. No issues with the power running out at all going up big hills. I keep having to slow down because I'm getting going a little too quick here. Ah, oh, cool, one of the tunnels. There's a couple tunnels on here. These are on the, uh, these are on the good uphill uh, grades here. But, uh, we get the tunnel. And this here, oh, come on, you're not gonna change in front of me, are you? You better not. This is on the steepest portion of the uh, uphill grade here. I had to slow down there, but for that guy that was going slow. We're still doing 120, which is the speed limit. As you see, I'm going up a hill and I'm just flying. This is going up the steepest hill on the Coquihalla. I'm just smoking everything else on the road. 139, 140 kilometers an hour. Coming up to the summit. It's insane. Absolutely insane to have people say that this car has is godless. Really kind of ticks me off when I read stuff like that. When I see people that have never even driven the car on any type of trip, yet they'll publish a paper saying, I was scared to drive it on a road trip because it only has 83 horsepower and I'm gonna have trouble getting over the Coquihalla. I think I've just proved the point that there is no problem going over the summit on the Coquihalla or any other highway. You just have to make sure that you put the car into mountain mode before you hit the hills. You put the car into mountain mode before you hit the hills, there's no problem whatsoever climbing any hill in the Chevy Volt. That's my rant for this. I think I've answered that question for anybody. Does it have power? Yeah, it has plenty of power to take you anywhere you wanna go, anytime. Let's hope they can pull it off with the second generation, but the first generation is flawless. As you can see, I'm just kind of be coming up on the summit here. This is where the, uh, the toll booths used to be when this was a toll highway. 